All right. Hello, this is Mr. Boyd. I'm uh, here in the United States. I'm still kind of sick, so, um, but I pulled myself together enough to give you guys a quick uh, lesson on what you should be doing, uh, but I will be back uh, in commission next week. So, um, what you're going to be doing is uh, we're going to draw a room in one point perspective. This is a setup for our next um, uh, summative assessment. Uh, we do want to finish our, our old one, but uh, today you're going to be working on uh, designing a room in one point perspective. So I'm going to show you how to do that. The first thing you do, you're going to take your notebook. First thing you're going to do is you're going to draw a square or a rectangle, I guess. And this will be the back wall of the room. So there's the back wall of my room. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to put a vanishing point in. I'm going to put it in about mm, three quarters of the way up from the floor. Now remember, the vanishing point is your eye level. So uh, if this was the floor, most people are about mm, roughly somewhere around this tall. So we're going to put the, uh, the vanishing point right around there. Don't play around and put the vanishing point in other places. Let's just go and keep it simple and put it right there. Now, from here, we're going to get uh, the floor and the ceiling and the walls using this vanishing point and this square. All we do is we go and we take from the vanishing point and we go to each of the four corners of the room. So I go from here, go to the vanishing point, go out to the edge, out to the edge, to the edge, and to the edge. So, I've got a room now. Next thing we're going to do, we need to start decorating it. Um, so let's see, let's put a sofa in so we got somewhere to sit. And what we're going to do is right over here, we're going to put the front side or the side of the sofa and it's going to stretch back this way. It's going to be along this wall. So it's just going to be sort of an L-shaped. I'm going to keep it simple, just sort of do it uh, like a block, like a, a big Tetris block. So there's my, the side of my sofa, and it's going to go back to the vanishing point. So I'm going to go from each of these corners, just like we've done before, going back towards the vanishing point. Now all your decoration stuff is going to need to go to the vanishing point. I'm going to erase this little line in here. This is the, the floor and the wall line, just so you can sort of see where my where my sofa is a little bit better. So, I've got the side of the sofa and the vanishing point lines. So the next thing I'm going to do is go, I've got over, down, over, down. So we're going to do that over here. So let's go over, down, over, down. And now I've got a sofa. Now, uh, obviously it's a little bit of a blocky looking sofa. Um, you know, you can go in, clean it up with your erasers. Uh, but you want to go in there and, you know, you can decorate a little bit, add little arm parts on there, little cushions. Um, and make it as fancy of a sofa as you want to make it. But we use the, uh, the vanishing points to make sure that it is in the correct perspective in my room. So there, I've got a little sofa going on. Uh, let's see, what else can we do? Let's put a door. Now, if anything on this doors and windows are just going to be straight up and down, so there's my door. And I'll maybe put a little window over here. Now obviously I'm kind of going with a pretty simplistic room. It is up to you how fancy you want to make your room. I would say start simple, but then get fancy, as fancy as you want to be. Now anything outside this would just probably be, you know, you can be organic. You don't really need to worry about perspective. There's some hills and some trees. There's a little airplane flying in the sky. Okay, so um, let's see. Let's put some more stuff in perspective into this room. Let's put uh, some shelves over here. Okay, so if I'm going to draw a shelf, first thing I do is I'm going to draw the sides. So let's see. Draw the side. It's just going to be a square. And then it's going to go back towards the vanishing point. So there's my shelves. I can put stuff on there. Books. A vase. A big flower in it. 
up to you. Um, let's see. Let's put something else in here. Let's put a coffee table. Okay, so let's put a table in here. So I'm going to do the same thing I did here. This one was right on the vanishing point line, so it sort of looks just sort of flat looking. But down here it'll make a little more sense. Let's draw the front side of the table. Now this is the, the side, the edge of the table. And then it's going to go to the vanishing point. So I'm in my parents' house right now. I keep waiting for my mom to come in and interrupt this important video I'm making. Mr. Boyd, it's time to go eat lasagna. So I can't. I'm working. I'm trying to make videos. About perspective. Okay, so here's my uh, there's my little coffee table. So you can see I did the front side. The top's going back to the vanishing point. Let's put a big TV over here. I guess it's on the wrong wall, but oh well. Um, I can do the same thing I did there. Let's make it let's make it three dimensional. So we'll make it like a little bit thicker than two dimensions. So let's see. Let's go in. There's the edge. Gonna go to the vanishing point. To the vanishing point. And then straight up and down. So I've got a nice little TV in there. You now you can add in the screen. Add in the buttons. It's up to you. Hmm, what else should we do? Let's put a carpet in there. That'll be cool. Okay, so let's put a big carpet in there. So I'm just going to do a line along the floor there. It's going to be a big carpet fill up the whole room. And it's going to go to the vanishing point. And whenever I hit something, I'm just going to stop. So stop. This one will go over all the way down to there. And then just go across. It needs to go a little bit farther, so it'll go all the way to there. Okay. So there, we got a big carpet. You know, a little frilly on the edge. time for dinner. No, I can't go to dinner. I'm doing a video. Okay, um, so it's up to you how much you want to decorate. Um, I do want to fill the room. You do have plenty of time. Got a good 40 minutes or so, I'm guessing, uh, to work on this. Uh, I do want you to start with pencil. I do want you to go in and then start inking. I do want you to go in and add some fancy color. Um, do as best you can uh, in the time you have, and I will be taking a look at these since this is the next summative assessment that we're going to do. So do your best. I know I'm not there to help you out. If you have problems with the perspective, you can ask the people at your table. Hopefully they will help you out um, and uh, do your best. So um, I will be back soon. Uh, be nice to the substitute. All right. Bye-bye.